In this lesson on circle geometry, we are having a look at Theorem 8. Theorem 8. Two tangents drawn to a circle from the same point outside the circle, so in our case that is point A, have the same length from that point to the point of contact. So our two tangents will be AB and AC, and the length from point A to the point of contact, so AB, and AC will then be equal in length. The reason for this theorem, tangents from the same point. Let's see where we can use this theorem. In our example, AP and PT are both tangents. So we have tangent AP and tangent PT, and they are tangents touching at point A and point T respectively. The question is to calculate the size of angle A, B, and C. We can start off by using our new theorem and say that AP has the same length as PT. And if we then focus on the triangle that that forms, triangle ATP, we can say that that's, that is an isosceles triangle and that means that angle small a and T3 will be the same size. So if we go and write this down, I'm going to start off saying AP will be the same length as PT. And my reason for that, they are tangents from the same point P. And therefore we can say that the small a angle is equal to angle T3. And the reason for that, they are angles opposite equal sides. And therefore angle A plus angle T3, which also has the size A, plus angle P, which is 50 degrees, will have to add up to 180 degrees. The reason, interior angles of a triangle. And now it's a bit of algebra. We will have 2A equal to 130 degrees, and that means that A will be 65 degrees. Now we can move on to angle B. Now angle B is formed at the center of the circle. And that means that AO and OT are the same length because they are both radii. And then once again, this forms an isosceles triangle. So we can say that angle A2 and angle T2 are equal in size. And to calculate angle A2, we need to remember that a tangent is always perpendicular to a radius. So angle A2 plus small a should be 90 degrees. So let's go and write this down. I'm going to start off saying that angle O A P will be 90 degrees and my reason for that tangent perpendicular to radius. And because we have more than one tangent, it helps if you mention which one you are working with, even though this will also be true for tangent P T. So we now know that angle A2 plus small a, which is 65 degrees, have to add up to 90. And this means that angle A2 will then be 25 degrees. So next I'm going to move to the purple triangle and mention that AO is the same length as OT. And my reason for that, they are both radii. And therefore angle A2 will be the same size as angle T2 and therefore they will both be 25 degrees. My reason, angles opposite equal sides. And now we can calculate angle B by saying it will be 180 degrees minus the other two angles in that triangle which are both 25 degrees. My reason, interior angles of a triangle. And then B is 130 degrees. Lastly, we can calculate angle C. So if we focus on angle C, you will see that it's an angle on the circumference that is subtended by arc AT. Now, arc AT also subtends an angle at the center, which is angle B. So angle C will be half the size of angle B, and that is what I will write down. Angle C is half of angle B, and my reason for that, angle at the center, twice the angle at the circumference. So C will be half of 130, 
and that means that angle C is 65 degrees. If you now realize that angle A and angle C both worked out to be 65 degrees, you've already identified theorem 9, which we'll do in the next video.